Hey, it's Jim from Janku, and today I want to take a look at the gradient tool one more time in GIMP. So we have a tutorial already about using the gradient tool here, and we just recently got a comment from Glenn. So Glenn wanted to know how to go from a foreground to a transparent color. So the gradient tool has changed a little bit in the newer versions of GIMP. So let's go look at how to do that in GIMP 21014, which we have available here. So I'm going to create a new canvas here and I'm gonna make sure that the background is just transparent for now. I'm gonna say okay. Let's just zoom out a bit. Let's grab our gradient tool here, and if I were to grab this and start pulling this over, you notice we have our default here, so it's going from this color on the left side to this color on the right side. When we're thinking about going from one color to transparent, we really want the color to be the same on both sides. So I'm gonna click on this first node here, and you'll see how the color swatch here switches. If I click into that, I can see the HTML notation for this color. So I'm gonna grab that and I'm going to Control C to copy it. I'll just say okay. And then I'm gonna click on this far right node and watch how this color swatch switches. So that's that purple color. If I click into that, I can actually paste over that color there. And if I were to press enter, it changes it to the blue color that was on the left hand side. So if I were to press okay at this point, it doesn't have a gradient. It's the same solid color from the left all the way to the right. Now, again, with the right-hand node selected over here, so you can click this, if you were to click your color swatch, you can come in here and you can manipulate the alpha here. So this last option over here on our color is the transparency. So I can grab this and I can pull this down a little bit and you can find the right blend for you. So maybe you only want it to be a little bit transparent and say, okay. You notice that it goes from the solid color over here on the right-hand side to this gradient color on the left-hand side. And again, you can control how much transparency is available by pulling this back. If I pull this over to the left, there's more transparency being shown here. You can see by the checker pattern beneath here. If I grab it and I pull it way to the right, you notice that more of the solid color is actually coming through there. I'm gonna leave it here. I think that blending is okay. And let's go play around with a couple different things here. I'm gonna press enter and that's gonna set our gradient, which makes it so we can no longer manipulate it. But let's just say that's fine for now, say enter. So now our background has that gradient applied to it. And let's just come over here and let's grab some text and let's just write fading text. And now let's just bump up the size of this a little bit. So we have this fading text here. That looks about good. And now I can right click on this and I can say path from text. And now my path here, I have this path that outlines the text that I had. So I'm gonna enable my path in my paths panel here and I'm going to turn the text off and you can see that I have this here and now with my path tool if I select this and I make sure that this is actually selected here I can get a selection from that path and you see how the dotted lines appear across this now now I'm just going to make sure that my background is selected here and then with this selection I'm going to control X to cut and you'll see how you notice how that cut out the text outline here. And you can really tell if I zoom in, you can see that's all cut out. And then I'm just going to control V to paste it. And that'll give me a floating selection here and it pasted it back in the same spot. I'm just going to right click on this and say to new layer. And then I'm going to turn off the visibility on this initial background color here. And I'm going to turn off my path visibility there. And I'm just going to select the move tool. So you can see that now we have this text that's fading. So maybe now we want to grab this text in place it over something else. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to select this and I'll just copy this and let's paste it over this other thumbnail we have here. Let's make sure we have our text layer selected here. So I'm gonna make sure that layer selected. I'm gonna copy that with Control C and let's just paste it over this thumbnail that we use for a different video here. I'm going to paste to a new layer. And now you can see here that the transparency actually is working. So let's just zoom in here. Now this doesn't look great, obviously, but if you zoom in here, on the left-hand side, this is pretty solid. There's a little transparency being added here, but you can mainly only see the color from the letters, but as you scroll over to the right, you can see more and more of the background coming through the letters here. So you can really see the text behind the letters here, so that applicate text. And let's just demonstrate. If I grab my move tool, and I were to move this over some more. Notice that you can really see behind this text here. 
you can really see the, the image here versus when we had the, the first few letters, it was a lot more solid and you can see through it. So you could play around with this transparent gradient a couple different ways, but hopefully this showed you the fundamentals about how to set something like that up. Thanks for the question, Glenn. Really appreciate you making a comment on our videos and stay tuned for more GIMP tutorials in the near future. Thanks. Bye.